Good day and welcome to my garage. Well today I will be fitting a shield to the milling machine. Um, yep, you can see that. <clears throat> um, now you may have noticed during some, uh, a fair bit of my milling lately I've been using this piece of um, plastic to shield me from the from all the um, what's it called tailings, cuttings, um, swarf to shield me from the swarf that gets thrown off thrown off the uh, the mill, especially when I'm running the 50 mil uh, face face mill uh, on this machine. So. What I'm going to do is fit this shield. It's off a uh, an optimum. Yep, it's off an optimum mill. I haven't seen the machine that came off, but it, it was um, given to me by a um, a subscriber, a viewer. Uh, that's uh, Ian, and. Um, Ian rest assured me that he would never uh, use it on his machine, that's why he took it off. And that he noticed I was using the piece of uh, clear plastic. So I'm going to mount this up here somewhere. Now there's a couple of things. I need to have it low enough. Um, yep, I need to have it low enough when I'm doing the uh, cutting and uh, should the object that's coming through be in the way this thing can can lift out of the way uh, it won't stay up there but that's all right it'll follow it'll follow whatever's coming through the other the other um, requirement for this is that when I uh, put this lever over when I pack the machine away I don't want this thing sticking out I want it to fold back on itself so that I can put the cover over the top so to that end, I've got a hole here already with a uh, 6 mil thread. I'm going to mount this off this arm, but directly off the arm is too high, the cutter's down here. So this has to drop about uh, 60 mil to, um, to be of any good. I don't know whether this is going to fully work until I start using it, depending on how large the objects are that I'll be milling, but most of my work is small stuff, so it should be alright. So I need to drop this down about 50 or 60 mil, hence a piece of metal, and this will drop, drop down and then get bolted onto that or welded onto that so let me get started well I've already started let me continue so that's just still a nice rainy day I've got to drill that uh, 5 mil for an M6.
I have to drill this other hole out to uh, 6 mil then. I forgot about that. Should have drilled at 6 and marked it with a 6. So all there is to do now is give it a test run. I'll take this um, I'll take this collar chuck out and put a, um, a 50 mil face mill in there and we'll face off this uh, sprue see how that goes and test to make sure that the cover goes back on but it should be right Well, that, sh <coughs> that shield worked out great. I've still got stuff over me, I know that, but I'm not fitting it in my face. It could be coming over the top and the top of my cap. A little bit there, yeah. But um, in general, that works excellent. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Thank you, Liam, for the, um, for the shield. And now, will the cover get on? Let's try that. Well, it still fits. Still covers everything. So that's happy. I'm happy with that. Here we go. Excellent. That's the end of this project.